Todd, go. All right, we're back with six seconds to play in a ball game. Notre Dame 12, Michigan 10. Michigan now will try a 42-yard field goal. Brian Virgil out of B.J. Dickey's hole. It's 42 yards. He hits it. They win. He misses. They lose. The kick is blocked. The kick is blocked. And Notre Dame with one second remaining. The Irish faithful have come running out onto the field. They're going to mess up everything now. As in their enthusiasm, the kids come pouring out of the end zone. The scoreboard shows one second to play in a ball game. They keep the game. A lot of momentum and confidence, and they shut down Michigan, which has a lot of potential on offense in the second half. That's a Waymer coming across right there. He might have deflected it, and it looks like uh, Leopold 61 there, and somebody over the top slapped it down. So all they've got to do is take the snap, run out the clock, and win the football game. The Michigan Wolverines, who opened with a 49-7 romp over Northwestern last week, ranked fifth of the nation this week, come up against the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame in their opening game of the year. Vegas Ferguson was the workhorse, just hammered and hammered all day. But Michigan couldn't it offensively in the first half, shut down completely in the second half, made some critical mistakes at the most inopportune time. And Notre Dame blocks a 42-yard field goal try to win the ball game 12 to 10. Here's what happened. As Virgil came. Keith, I believe it's a low kick. It looked to me like that he didn't get the ball up in the air at all. Look how high Crable is. Good. Gracious alive. And it was a low kick. You never see the ball from no. that angle. Crable is up. He just swallowed it. What you see Waymer come across in front. It could be that Dave Waymer got a hand on it. He comes flashing through your picture right on the ball right there. It's possible he deflected it, but it was killed at the top of the stack. Looked like it hit Crable right in the tummy. And the ball game ended on that note with Notre Dame running out the clock on the final tick of the clock.